Welcome to episode 414, Bill Gross, The Trillion Dollar Man, 10 Lessons. This is an outline of episode 414, lesson 1 to lesson 5. This is an outline of episode 414, lesson 6 to lesson 10. Lesson number 1, he's a meditation guy and a health guru. Bill Gross certainly looked younger and healthier than 99% of the self-made billionaires. Lesson number two, psychology and probability. He graduated with a degree in psychology from Duke University. Immediately after that, he went to Las Vegas and played professional poker for three months. His story is he started with $2,000 and ended up with $10,000. So he made a profit of $8,000. Now, sorry, this, this is not a picture of Bill Gross, it's someone else. Lesson number three, a bad beginning. He co-founded PIMCO in 1971. The 27-year-old Bill Gross started his investment career poorly. Lesson number four, sins of omissions. There were two sins. First, he rejected Warren Buffett's loan of $10 million for Berkshire Hathaway in 1974. Next, he rejected Sam Walton's loan of $10 million for Walmart in 1975. Now, how much dumber can you get? Then there was the sin of commission. He lent $5 million to a company called ITEL in San Francisco because of three reasons. First, the rail cars got steel. Second, the carpets were thick. Third, the secretaries were gorgeous. Well, three months after the loan, ITEL went bankrupt. Lesson number five, Bill Gross found a dead mentor. His dead mentor is J.P. Morgan. And I, I later learned, as I was reading through uh, the history books, uh, about J.P. Morgan, the, the old magnate in the early 1900s. Um, and he was testifying to Congress and, and, and came forth with a very famous saying that I saw and put up on my wall, uh, because that was the lesson of up on the wall. And it's a, a picture of J.P. Morgan, and there he is with his vest and his pocket watch and his bulbous nose and he looks mean and angry that, that lending is not based on money or property no, lending is based on character on character sir that's three of those that the people were the important ingredient that if I had um, gone further in terms of the intelligence and the character of Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger and Sam Walton uh, the loan would have been made and it would have been more than profitable lesson number six what is his bond fund strategy? Well, it is called unconstrained market strategy. Basically, it is a wild, unrestrained bet, if it works. Lesson number seven, trillion dollar bond king in 2008. At its height, PIMCO was managing about two trillion dollars. Good job, Bill Gross, for a world record. Lesson number eight, Blow up after blow up. The first blow up is with his business partner, Mohammed El Aryan. Second blow up was he, was he was kicked out from his own firm, PIMCO. The third blow up was a nasty divorce that costed him more than a billion dollars in 2016. Looking at um, the great article in the Wall Street Journal talking about Bill Gross and Mohammed Al Arian saying, uh, I have a 41 year track record of investing excellence, Mr. Gross told Mr. Al Arian. What do you have? I'm tired of cleaning up your bleep, Mr. Alarian responded. This was uh, basically a huge meeting that the two of them had where reportedly they kind of went at each a other. A public meeting, by the yeah, way. Yeah, but Adam and I go after they went at Let's talk line. about the emotions behind this. Tom, you and I both worked on Wall Street. When things are going great, things are really great. For 40 years, there has been a rally in bonds and PIMCO minted money. All of a sudden, the bond rally stops. Withdrawals now, money coming out of PIMCO. They're trying yeah. to figure out the future. It makes people very tested. Very smart Mohammed Al Arian invented the concept of new normal, but new normal cannot prevent the fund exodus and negative return. Lesson number nine, the law of large numbers. The question is, why did a bond legend blow up? In 2018, 
Ukraine has a negative 6% return. Well, I call this the law of large numbers, trillions of dollars. Uh, that is uncharted territory for anyone, not only Bill Gross. And J.P. Morgan, who died in 1913, is no longer around to shed his wisdom. Uh, lesson number 10, will the bond king recover? Uh, probably not, for two reasons. First, uh, considering his own net worth, he had $2.5 billion before the 2016 costly divorce. The divorce costed him more than $1 billion. Second, in 2012, he was managing $2 trillion at PIMCO. In 2018, he is managing a few billion dollars, less than 10% of his former asset. In other words, he lost 90 plus percent of his clients. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.